Okay, go ahead. Uh, I had a question that I've heard some things about the uh, colonies in the um, Latin America, the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. that the Suda somehow was transferred, that when Spain fell, a lot of the Muslims were expelled, those that, and that a lot of traditions, like uh, when you go to a house with the Spanish ladies, they were behind the screen. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you can... Well, there's a lot of trace. Actually, when you read the, me the memoirs of Ferdinand Columbus and uh, Christopher and whatnot, you see, and, and many of the, the early um, Spanish and Portuguese who came, they, they ran into um, African people in the region early, and especially they ran into Muslims. Uh, one um, piece, uh, one writing in the memoir, when Columbus came into Cuba, and he came into a certain bay, and I read this thing, and they said, there's a mosque on the top of the hill. That's how they described it. They said, there's a mosque on the top of the hill. So, you know, it's unbelievable, man. It w when, when Ferdinand Columbus writes, when they went to Honduras, they said the people, the women had heavy gold in their ear. And it's just like in, in West Africa, in Mali. They had so much gold that it was a style to wear a big piece of gold, so like s extend your earlobe. Um, and then the names, like one name is called Al Mamis, which is from uh, Al Imamu, uh, Imamu Al, Al Imam. That's a West African way of saying, the, you know, the leader of the prayer. And, and that is a grouping of people in Honduras. So um, it's all over the place, you know, in, in terms of, uh, they even, and, and Columbus also writes about, in one of the memoirs, he's writing about, they, they, a boat came by them. And they said when they looked at the boat, the men on the boat had on a type of cloth which had the same patterns as the cloth in Granada. And some of the women on the boat had a, a veil over their face like some of the women in Granada used to wear. So when they described this boat, they said, this is in the Caribbean. They ran across this. So like, you know, they're running across these things all the time. But then, but you don't get that. Uh, you know, they, you, they filter out that, that, that aspect. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any connection between Alaska and Al-Aqsa? Um, I haven't heard any connection between that. Al-Aqsa? Um, Al-Aqsa is the, the furthest mosque, or the foul, the foul place, yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of names that you can start to get things out of.